global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Good people, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The South East, via the instrumentation of Ohanes and Debo, have reacted to the statement made by Atiku Abubakar about he, the possibilities behind his getting PDP ticket. And uh, right now, they have uh, sent forth the consequences of uh, what may likely happen to our PDP if they give their ticket to Atiku Abubakar. And they have also given Atiku Abubakar required advice that will help him in his political career perfectly. We're going to be looking at all of that in a jiffy. But before we continue, if you're not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our video. The Ibu Shushu Cultural Group, Ohanin Zendi, but worldwide, has claimed that the current security challenges facing the Southeast is as a result of Ibu loyalty to Al Haji Atiku Abubakar in 2019. The Ibo Group warned the former vice president and other politicians that any promotion of the northern continuation in power after eight years of President Muhammadu Buhari would be seen as a as callous, voracious, and selfish. Manizé was reacting to Atiku's recent boastful stance of winning the 2023 PDP presidential ticket again, describing such belief as nostalgia. The Apex Ibo Shushu Culture Organization said that Atiku was only presenting himself as a desperate politician and is swimming against the political current and ties of the movement. According to the group, it says that Atiku has misread the mood of the nation ahead of 2023, and these miscalculation may retire him from partisan politics in 2023. Ohanese said in a statement signed by its Secretary General, Okechuku Izuzoro. He said, Atiku has the constitutional right to aspire to the office of president in 2023, but one has expected him not to rock the boat now that the odds are against him based on his age and his region. He should not fight deity or appear desperate for the presidency. Rather, it's time for him to voluntarily quit partisan politics and take his rightful place in history as an elder statesman without being dishonored and disgraced. Nibo has expected that Atiku Abubaka should support a younger person for 2023, especially after the River State Governor Yesom Wiki openly denounced Atiku's proposal for him to be his running mate in 2023. It is enough message and signal to him that 2023 is exclusively reserved for a Southern president. Atiku should search his conscience and support an Igbo in the PDP primaries to avert the disgraceful end of his political career. The Southern Nigerian leaders and governors have vowed that it's unhealthy for another Northerner to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari in 2023. In 2019, Igbo's showed enough loyalty to the PDP and Atiku Abubaka and the present predicaments and the penalties facing the Southeast today was as a result of the support Nibu gave to Atiku and the PDP. But in 2023, Ibos will dump PDP if Atiku wins the PDP ticket. And then Nibu, his alliance with other ethnic groups will ensure that any political party that refuses to zone their presidential ticket to the South will suffer in the 2023 presidential election. If Atiku continues, he will surely test that venom of Nigerians in the PDP primaries and disgrace awaits him. Wow, what a strong message sent to the former president of, uh, oh, sorry, the former vice president of Nigeria and also the former 2019 presidential aspirant of the People Democratic Party. Now, some few days ago, we saw a video where he visited the former president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, and when he came out of that closed-door meeting, he was being asked some salient question. One of it was, if uh, who does he think will be uh, the person that will be given power 
in or will be given ticket in PDP come 2023. And he bluffly said uh, that he who would they give it to except him. I mean, that was a strong one, you know. In other words, there is nobody that can stop me from getting it. I must always get it and all of that. And, you know, PDP is not owned by the North, neither is it owned by anybody. The people have the right to make choices, irrespective of the fact that whether you have money or you don't have money, the people know what is good for them. And I know since um, primary, um, that is the direct primaries have not been allowed, so it means delegates will go from, you know, different states down to, you know, to the meeting, to, to, to that election, to that indirect primary election that will be carried out by PDP. And I'm so hopeful that PDP will not want to give him that power just like the individuals have suggested the ideal thing at this point for him to do is to retire gloriously retired and take the central position of an elder statesman so that uh, at least he will earn respect even till the day he leaves this world because i can assure you that in the event of him not being given that pdp ticket it will be a huge frustration on his part, and it would be a pointer to the fact that his uh, um, political career has come to an end. And I, I don't know how he will feel if it happens that way. You know, I can still remember when that of Atikwa, uh, sorry, that of Adam Shimoli happened in APC. People were warning and said, Sir, you don't have to go this extra mile. You don't have to, you know, venture into different things in uh, individual states. Don't try to showcase your power as the national chairman of APC. He thought it was a joke. Today, he is no way to be found in APC again. I can't remember the last time that he came on media. I think the last time was when he was dragged before the court or something. The guy was, I mean, his political career was totally buried. And unfortunately, whenever it is buried like that, for it to resurrect, it would take, you know, the coming together of the entirety of the people. So for now, looking at the situation of things, though he had also um, made Nigerians understand that uh, he has not uh, officially declared his intention. Nobody knows if at the end of the day he would throw in towel, seeing how, you know, his consultation is going. But for now, uh, based on his statement, I think he's overly interested. But I think some Thing if he doesn't do the ideal thing, who knows? He may not have that opportunity of running for any political party in Nigeria again. Some time ago, we heard what we case said that he's trying to take the delegate for 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 a drive. You know, when he was asked that question, instead of him to say that it's in the hands of PDP to decide, he would do his part as you know a, a contestant. But he just said, "Man, it's mine. Who will take it from me?" And all of that. But we know. That uh, already, uh, based on the zoning aspect of uh, individual constitution of different parties, the South, this is their own turn. APC had already given their stand, though a lot of people are yet to accept it. But uh, based on what El Rufai had said some time ago, you know, after their meeting with uh, uh, Buhari, all the 19 APC governors, oh, sorry, not I think 19 or so or more, when all the APC governors met, they reach a consensus that everything they should just be a, a, a change, a, a swift change, whereby everything that APC, uh, the northern states in APC enjoy, should be given to the south, and south they should take the part, the, the place of the, that's the northerners should take the place of, and I think that's just the ideal thing. If that happens, automatically everyone will be looking at voting in PDP, you know, to power because already APC have done their part. Let's look at what Nigerians have to say in that respect. Someone says, see, I knew very well that Atiku Abubakar will not give up just like that, but it's good for them to show him where his hard-heartedness will be taking him to if he doesn't change his mind. I think that's right. Another person here says, Ndibos, first of all, must come together so that at the end of the day, we don't lose it to the southwest. We are not united and no one is ready to give up for the other person. If it continues like this, it therefore means it's going to be a huge challenge. Another person said, I, I do not give in to these multi contestant moves by Southeast. If all of them are going in for it, how would there be unification of the South for just one person? And I feel that at this point, we, Johannes and D will need to step in so that we can pick one person that will represent the interests of the Southeast. We have to be smart 
in this political process. So many to talk about there, but I'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. Thank